Hello. Are you ready for your room to be rented out? Um. I'm going on exchange this semester to Australia. My parents wanted to send me off, so we went on this two week trip. And naturally, I forgot a piece of ID. It's like 750. Running a bit late for the flight. How are you feeling, Kyren? That's my brother. Are you excited, Mom? Huh? This was a multi-city trip. We spent three days in Hong Kong, four days in Taipei, a day layover in Singapore, and four more days in Sydney. Thank you. Mm, okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. Are you going back? You'll be a different man. Four, four months. Totally different. <laughs> My luggage was way overweight. I had about 15 extra kilos, so I had to move stuff around into another bag. All right, it's now like 8.40. We're gonna go through the US border. I had a couple of friends that said their last goodbyes. We started the trip leaving in Toronto towards Hong Kong with a connecting flight in Chicago. The entire flight took about 16 hours. after our 15 hour flight. Um, you can instantly feel the difference in air moisture. It's way more humid here. We arrived in the evening and when we got off the plane, my aunt met us at the gates and dropped our stuff off at the hotel. It's pretty nice. we got breakfast and had to run some errands, namely renewing my Hong Kong citizenship and going to the bank. Had lunch at this nice noodle buffet place. The last time I went to Hong Kong with my parents was 10 years ago when I was 10. That's me in the red. My mom was originally from Hong Kong and every time we do come, we visit my mom's dad. He passed away before I was born, so I, I didn't really know him. But my mom only ever gets to see him when we do come over, so this was a sensitive time for us. Then we finished the day with dinner with the aunties and uncles. The next morning we walked around for a bit, then we visited family, had some dim sum. Then we walked around a bit more and made our way to the harbor. Should I get another one? Dad took my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, I got more ice cream. The third day in Hong Kong, we walked around a bit. You know that moment when you want to go see other things, but your parents don't want to see the same things that you? That's pretty much this entire trip. So I split off. Ooh, there's a car. So I split off and I am going to go find the stationery store in Hong Kong. This place I'm going to is called Cien. My parents were against the idea of us splitting up, but I just wanted to see different things from them. Then we met up with my other aunt for lunch. After lunch, walked out into a place called the Nan Lian Garden. Continued to walk around and went to one of the tallest buildings in Hong Kong. East Sky 100. Got a nice view of the city from there. 
Look at that view. And we had dinner at another uncle's place and we played with his dog. We woke up earlier this morning, checked out of our hotel and took a cab to the airport. It's 7.40 in the a.m. and we are going to the airport. I met up with my aunt, checked in, and went through customs and got on the plane. My aunt wanted to take us through Taipei and their night market was supposed to be the best there. We arrived at the airport and we got on a bus and made our way to the hotel. Got some food at the fish market. Okay. <laughs> I got more ice cream. We started the morning with a complimentary breakfast in the hotel, went to the memorial hall, We missed our train. Then we made our way to the Tamsui district in Taiwan. They don't really have sidewalks there, so we mostly just ended up walking on the side of the road. My aunt and mom wanted to get souvenirs, so my dad and I waited. Walked around a bit more and spent the rest of the day in the market. The next day we went to Rayfang, and this guy just wouldn't give me the ice cream. The engine kept vibrating at the back of the bus. It, it was fun. <laughs> Got back on the train and headed to see the Silam night market and ate all the food. <laughs> oh, and it was still Chinese New Year's there, so there was a bunch of firecrackers and fireworks. We went to the Ximen and Jiaofen marketplace. Day 4 in Taipei brought fatigue and sickness. The past week or so, we've been going out non-stop and seeing family, so there just wasn't really any time to have a break. I got sick for the next week or so, and we ate lots of food. That was pretty much it for Taipei. We headed out of Taipei back to Hong Kong. I said, I and of course the day we choose to leave is the day that it's sunniest. directly to Singapore for a day layover. My parents and I were on different flights, so we just met each other at the airport. You know what's fun? They have flies imprinted on all their journals. That's fun. What's not so fun is that I woke up with a headache and a fever coming off the plane. It's now 12.50 a.m. My parents' flight landed 45 minutes ago and I still haven't found them yet. I'm starting to think either something went horribly wrong or they just left me here. My dad booked a hotel room inside the airport except they accidentally left the airport. So if they came back in then they wouldn't be able to go back out to explore the next day. I checked in first. can't do this with your parents around. Now it's uh, time to go to bed. We stayed at the airport Mom. the whole day until Mom. our flight to Sydney. You want to see if I can land it down there? Just, just on, on the pan right there. We made our way to Sydney. I was 
still sick and had a fever for about the whole eight hours of flying there. Oh man, the sun is so nice. When we landed, the first thing we got was a SIM card, which was way cheaper than it is in Canada. Got the car, checked into the hotel, and I just got a haircut. Didn't do so much the next day. We just went to the bank. The last two days in Sydney passed by so quickly, it didn't really even hit me that I would be living on my own for the next five months. We visited places like the Sydney Opera House, the Sydney Harbour Ridge, Darling Harbour. We saw family, but before this trip, it's been a while since I even got to spend some quality time with my parents. I spent most of my time at school under constant stress. In this trip, I get to remember all the things that I love about them and all the things that I don't. I feel like after a certain age, you stop traveling with your family so much because everyone starts to get busy. But you realize that you might not share is the same world views and that's okay. Family is family and you love them no matter what. We've been visiting family the entire trip, so that was kind of a drag, but do I regret this trip? Heck no. As much of a pain in the ass it was to put up with the ridiculous schedule my parents made, they loved me enough to even take me. But will I ever go on another trip like this? Probably not. Not because I don't like being around my parents, but because time has become more and more expensive as reality creeps around the corner. I've just entered my 20s and I have a lot of work to catch up on. 